introduce themselves. We will start with panelist number one. Yeah, hi, I'm Pat Martin. I'm an assistant coach for the women's basketball team at U of A. Go Wildcats. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for being here. We've got a busy season. All right, uh, expert number two, please introduce yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, gaze upon my visage, for I am the avalanche, <laughs> semi-professional wrestler now retired. <laughs> the avalanche! Welcome, Mr. Avalanche. Thank you very much. The Avalanche! <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And expert number three, please introduce yourself. Good evening. I'm Lady Elizabeth Worthington Farthington. I'm the Duchess of Worcestershire. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Oh, I raise corgis. You're the one that made the sauce! <laughs> oh, you're my favorite guest already. Thank you, Lady Elizabeth. All right. So I'm going to ask the people in uh, the in our virtual audience start typing in questions. Start typing them in now. Anything that you want to know. And I'm going to take our first question from our audience inside the theater. What do you want to know? And what do you want our experts to get, tell you? Who is the host of Jeopardy going to be? Oh, okay. Uh, that's a very timely question and a bit a bit polarizing, I guess, these days. So we will start with Pat. Who is the host of Jeopardy going to be? Well, you know, you got to go with someone who's got a proven track record and has uh, a long history of understanding the game and uh, really knows the fundamentals and knows what it's like to really you know be in the paint. Uh, so I, of course, would go with LeVar Burton. <laughs> Very popular choice. Thanks, Pat. Uh, uh, avalanche. As you all know, the avalanche, <laughs> being in the entertainment world, nay, the sport world of professional wrestling, I know who exactly will be the next host of Jeopardy! And that will be the avalanche! <laughs> I will form it in the phrase of a question. What is the avalanche? I did not even know you were in the running. Wow, what a surprise and an exclusive. Thank you so much for letting I am scandal free. <laughs> I can only imagine. I, I can only imagine. Wow, I have to clear my early evenings now. Uh, and finally, Lady Elizabeth. Is he always this loud? I, I just met him. <laughs> this is my indoor voice! <laughs> the avalanche! <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with this dangerous program that you're referring to. Jeopardy, I don't understand it. But I have not been able to watch the Great British Baking Show since Mary Berry left. <laughs> So, so are you are you positing that Mary Berry should be the host of Jeopardy then? I don't know anything about this dangerous show that you're referring to. Uh, all right, all right. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your opinion nonetheless. Uh, all right, let's get a question from the chat. Rob, what, what is the burning question that's in the chat? I apologize in advance to any neuroscientist out there for this pronunciation. What is the function of glial cells in the brain? <laughs> Do we... Do we have any neuroscientists in the audience? Just out of curiosity. I think we're safe, Rob. Thanks. All right, uh, glial cells. All right, so we're, this time we're going to start with uh, the avalanche. Avalanche, what is the purpose of the glial cells in the brain? Little is known about what I do after being retired from being a semi-professional wrestler. I will now reveal to you what the avalanche does now. And that is read books. I have read many books on neuroscience. And I will tell you what the glial cells do in the brain. They prevent your brain from turning into a liquid goo when subjected by various forms of radiation. Don't let your brain turn into liquid goo. <laughs> That's great advice, Adelaide. <laughs> Sorry, I was just waiting for it. <laughs> the avalanche! 
<laughs> uh, Lady Elizabeth, uh, what is the purpose of the glial cells in the brain? Glial cells were popularized during the Wimbledon tennis tournament. They <laughs> are the boxes that show who has advanced from one cell and round to the next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, right. So the so the chart that they show. Correct. Right? Those, the those name are, of the boxes are glial cells. Those are glial cells. Oh, okay. Got it. Get it. Are you sure you make Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> I never made any claims. You were the one that posited that. I love Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> All right. And finally, Pat, what is the purpose of the glial cells in the brain? It's an excellent question, and it's a, an extremely important part. Uh, of the athlete's toolbox, because of course the glial cells are what's important for a good zone defense. <laughs> I was not aware of that. I learned something new today. Thank you. All right, and let's get a question from the audience. Shout out a question. What is it called in the original copy? Wow, wow. Oh, excellent. Excellent. This time we will start with Lady Elizabeth. Lady Elizabeth, why is it called an original copy? Well, that is an American term, and you have vulgarized every aspect of the English language. <laughs> and there ma makes no sense any more than any other thing that you have vulgarized, original copy. There cannot be such a thing. We do not have those sort of things in the British Isles, only here in America. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, what? Yeah, thanks. All right. <laughs> Pat, why is it called an original copy? Well, it's important to make the distinction um, when you are, in fact, a champion in your field. Uh, and so being original is, in fact, a mark of distinction, a mark of championship, much like much of the U of Arizona uh, sports programs. Let's not talk about football. I'm not here for that. <laughs> However, when you are part of a championship sports program, you are the original and there are no copies. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. that's, that's throwing a bit of shade. All right, and finally, the avalanche. Why is it called an original copy? This is a sore subject to the avalanche. <laughs> After I retired, I volunteered for a cloning experiment. <laughs> that's right, there is another me out there, and he fought me and won. I don't know if I'm the copy or is he the original copy, <laughs> but be aware, there is now 200% of the avalanche. Is that that guy playing halfback? Damn him! <laughs> I was trying out for halfback. Maybe <laughs> look familiar. The avalanche. <laughs> <laughs>